Well, you know, me and me and one of my guys that 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 I grew up with, who 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 got pretty wealthy into into the cocaine game, little Tommy. Yeah, we were talking the other day about guys killing their customers. Wow, mm. you're literally killing your customers. Well, we but, used but to. But why? Wonder. Why would you want to kill your customers? You, you need return customers. That's part of the game, though. They, that's part of the fitting out game. That some of your customers are going to die. Wow. And they, sometimes they get a kick out of out of them dying because when they, when you die, it makes the other ones want it. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Like, let's bring up Kenny B, the guy that cut the young kid come on my show, and um, he uh, he was on uh, pills, perks the whole time, right? He been in, in the rap game, and um, recently he quit, and I was happy about that actually. Yeah, probably. And, him. and basically, lucky, lucky for him. He lucky, and but tell him. I'll let you tell the story. No, so um, when he came on the show and he spoke about, um, he said that when he went to sign his deal, because you know when guys get in the music industry, they're eager, they they have this drive, they want to make it, da da da. So he went to New York, got signed, and somebody introduced him to Perks. So he took the Perks, and the first time he took the Perks, you know he loved it. Cause, you know we human beings, we go through Man, issues, we go drunk. through problems and stuff like that. And sometimes you tend to want to forget your problems. So to him, he's like, when you took the perks, it made them forget the problems and that was it. So he got addicted. He took it for four years. And then one day, I think he was losing so many friends, dropping, you know, left, right and center, whether from perks or from different things, you know. And the addiction got stronger. Addiction got stronger, whatever. And his music is so good where his cousin, one of his cousins who used to sell it to him, told him, I'm not going to sell you no more drugs. And they actually fought because he wanted that bad. That's how, yeah. that's how bad he was addicted to it. And they're like, I'm not, we, we're not going to sell because you're not doing the music like you used to. You don't have that drive no more. Because he said, when you're on drugs, it tends to be like, oh, I'll do that tomorrow. You keep putting off stuff because you, you, you chill, you're relaxing, and life goes. So anyway, he put it out on social media that he gave up on it and it was so surprising how many people reached out to him and was like, how are you knocking trying this? To get out how are team. you doing this? Because so many people want to knock this drug and can't. And even one of the guys who did you know, reach out to him and he told him how to do it, he said he would take aspirins for the headache and he would go running, he would drink a lot of water to try to flush up the system. But he's like, nobody warned him of that you're going to go through all the withdrawals for a whole well, week. Is, you know, perks is literally heroin. Mm. It's another form of heroin. One of the, wow. guys, one of the guys that rich, I told him died three days later. But the reason I brought that up was because just the fact of fentanyl, you yeah, know. They spiking, they spiking those with fentanyl. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Cheaper. Fentanyl, like, like you seeing all the stuff rushing through our people, this <clears throat> fentanyl thing, it's really worse to me than what crack was doing and all oh, for that. for sure. Because it's killing people. Well, you know, me and, me and one of my guys that, that, that I grew up with who, 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 who got pretty wealthy into, into the cocaine game, Little Tommy, yeah. we were talking the other day about guys killing their customers. Wow. Mm. You're literally killing your customers. Well, we but used but to why? Wonder. Why would you want to kill your customers? You, you need return customers. That's part of the game, though. They, that's part of the fitting out game. That some of your customers are going to die. Wow. And they, sometimes they get a kick out of, out of them dying because when, the, when you die, it makes the other ones want it. What if, what really? We, how are we going to get past this? I ask you because we've been in the game. We know what is the thing that can get us past this? Um, well, everything comes down to being educated. You know, when our kids become educated to the fact that these things are and not only uh, addictive, but it also can kill you, I, I think that they'll, they'll wake up. I don't think we do enough education on, on drugs at all in this country. You know, uh, we spend 50 some billion dollars incarcerating, and I, I bet you the budget for um, prevention is much lower. And uh, some of the books that I read said that a pound of, uh, uh, an ounce of cure, an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. I so, heard that before. So we got to start thinking about cure. Get him. No, because it, it's so crazy because people, when they're addicted, especially once you take that first hit, yeah, you might know that's going to kill you. Yeah, you might know that it, this going to happen. No, they whatever. don't know it's going to kill them when they take the first hit. Uh, but I'm talking like if, if education of, comes in, right, in place. But, and, but some people feel like, well, it took away from my problems for that moment. Just like no, people who get into the drug game. At, if, okay, if example, case, hold on. If but that people, was the case, they would take rat poison. But people who get into the drug game, y'all always would say, well, I'm going to either die or end up in prison. You know this for a fact, but then they still, end, they still full force in the drug game. Different. The drug game is a little different, though, because you got a chance to make it. Mm. 
if you becoming a drug addict, you don't have a chance to become a drug addict. See, the guy who gave, the guy who you talking about, his first pill, the guy probably looked up to him. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And he thought he was important, and that's why he was willing to accept something that came from him. Are there any functional drug addicts that's been drug addicts from Absolutely. for years? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so there are successful drug addicts then. That's not, that's not that's successful. Success. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.